the two great lights speaks of the adaptation between the creature being Malchut and the Creator, which is the first nine. These are the qualities of the Creator that are presented within the creature, with respect to the creature. The two extent that Malchut adapts it herself to the first nine and is in adherent with them, according to from thy actions we come to know you. The adhesion is through equivalence of form, what we call balance, homeostasis, the adaptation between the two of them. Here we're speaking of the two great lights that even though one of them does not have light of its own, which is Malchut, yet it is great and illuminates and can be as important, the, the moon can be as important as the sun, as the creator, because it is in darkness on its own and therefore it can add and illuminate. The will to receive is called Earth. Its extent of illumination, of bestowal, sorry, is the moon. And what is what it receives, the force in order to bestow, the force in order to correct itself, the force in order to illuminate in the dark, in the night, that comes from the sun, from Zeranpin. It has the light coming from Upper Bina. So we have the two lights, the small light and the great light. And the goal of development, the development of the small light, is that it would reach the same degree, the same extent of the light as the great light that there will be two great lights. That is, that the creature will reach the same degree, perception, level, meaning everything that the Creator wants him to reach. And that is called the, ad the adhesion of the creature with the Creator. So let's see how we can attain that. We have to understand that within the creature there are different types of desires. It's not just Adam, the still vegetative, animate and human, the four types of desires. And when they develop, they develop gradually because the intent is to bring that creature to a state where it comes through the still vegetative and animate to the degree of a deficiency that it wants to be Adam, it wants to be human. It doesn't become Adam in a way that nature makes it, the Creator makes it. So, no, the form of Adam is revealed in this creature only followed by the discernment, the desire, the exertion, the demand that come from it. In short, everything has to come from it, only in such a way. Therefore, this development is a gradual development that, bit by bit, as this creature comes to the degree of Adam, from its earlier degrees that date many years backwards, tough, tens of thousands of historical development as we reach our generation throughout all of these historical stages we would put the seeds for all of these discernments that are now awakening and helping us realize what is our destiny. Because at the degree of Adam we have to establish for ourselves 
in what form we should, what form we shouldn't, why this way and not the other. We have to grow simply from some piece of marble. We have to construct something that wasn't there before. There was not even any mention of that. I have no example for that. I have to come to realize the Creator and according to that to create out of myself, out of that piece of marble, the same form. And the Creator is not revealed because if He was revealed, I would only take from Him something external. However, I have to investigate, research Him internally out of my inner desires to the depth of the entire still vegetative, animate and human within me, and then to decide how I should and how I shouldn't become similar to him, which is the opposite of what I want initially. So building a man is very hard, meticulous work over every detail. And this actually is what we learn from the two great lights, that the face of a man is not revealed except for the earlier three faces. Please. <laughs>